I love just talking and speaking from the evidence and research because the reality is I've got to protect my license. we got a free country, thank God, where freedom of speech and leading off research is allowed. Um, angiogenesis, we talked about the PSA is inhibiting endothelial proliferation, migration, invasion of cancer cells. Um, phenomenal research that PSA helps us. Hormone drugs for prostate cancer may hurt your heart. I want to make this very clear. So here's what we need to do. Anthony, you're going to assist me with this. Make sure the screen can see us both. Come on over here. We'll be able to see it right here. All right. So Anthony, my camera guy, this is this guy right here. All right, he's going to come in here. He is my patient. I'm doctor. All right, sir. All right, here we go. All right, so sorry, Anthony, but I have to, I have to give you this. It's a diagnosis of prostate cancer. Okay? You had high PSA on your test. You have prostate cancer. Immediately, what are most people going to think? What are you going to think? I mean, if you got that test now today, I mean, you would think, oh, my. Well, hopefully, you'd be like, oh, something's wrong. I'm scared. I'm worried. Hopefully, you wouldn't be, Anthony, because you've been working with me so long. You'd be like, hey, doc, what's that nutritional regimen I should be on that I probably aren't all the time? You know, I tell people, I got a best friend ask me, D doc, Dale, what would you do? What would you do? My buddy Nick, he asked me, what would you do um, if you got cancer? And I just told him I, I would basically take what I'm doing now living a healthy lifestyle to prevent cancer, heart disease, those things, I would just take that and do it at 110%. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a vacation meal. You know, that's, that's what I would do. But here's what the system does. They take a person, they say, here's what you have. There you go, you got that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prescribe to you, okay, I'm gonna write a prescription here. They write out their prescription for the radiation, their chemo, and their drugs, and they actually hand the person this. Folks, literally this is what they do. Prostate cancer treatments. Thanks, Anthony. They kill men with heart disease and diabetes. Number one and number two killers of men. Prostate cancer is further down the line. They give them the number one and number two killers, and they don't mention that well, they don't actually give them the number one. Number one would be medical treatment, which now take the statistics of heart disease and diabetes, which many men who are getting androgen deprivation therapy, radiation, and chemotherapy that will cause them to have heart problems or cause them to have diabetes. So they get a diagnosis of heart disease and stroke, and they die of those things. So on the statistics for the medical system, they get to say, hey, this person died of a stroke, a heart cardiovascular disease and then they indicate further down the paperwork that it was caused by their medical treatment, but they don't actually put a statistic that it was caused doctor-induced iatrogenic disease. Again, I've said this before. To put this in perspective, what I just would have done, if that was a real-life scenario, I would have taken a person, done a test, that right now isn't even recommended, has no validity by the research. The person who found it, the founder of the study says, a public health disaster has occurred. A profit-driven public health disaster has occurred because of that. I would have basically said, I might as well have handed him a nine millimeter and said, we're gonna reduce your risk of dying from prostate cancer. Here's a nine millimeter, take it, take one dose tonight. He won't die of prostate cancer. So to statistically, see, that's how they're utilizing statistics for which they are harming people, but using the harm of that, yeah. I, did I explain that properly? Please give me a thumbs up because I want to hammer that home. The statistics are skewed because if you kill a man from something else, they don't get the opportunity to live long enough to die from their cancer. Therefore, your statistics look great the more men you treat. Again, hormone drugs for prostate cancer hurt the heart, the causing cholesterol to go up, worsening blood sugar, fattier liver, thus raising the risk of heart attack and stroke. Hey everybody, I'm The Wild Doc, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hop on over to thewilddoc.com. Subscribe there for our newsletter and email campaign. 
join in the conversation on Facebook, and let's transform the world by unleashing the power of natural healing.